I'm wrapping up a bottle stopper here and what will happen is that handle is going to go onto this base once I'm all done. What I want to do is use this as a way to talk about a really, really cool way to finish these small turnings. It's going to be made up of a combination of CA, cyanoacrylate glue, and linseed oil. The two of these come together with a chemistry that's really neat. It provides a really shiny, really durable finish. The durability is what I really like about this because you think about these pens we turn, letter openers, bottle stoppers, this is stuff that gets handled all the time. So we want to get a finish on here that's really going to stand up. This is Bacote and I've sanded it with micro mesh sandpaper in order to get it really smooth. The smoother we get it here, like always, the better quality finish we're going to get when we start to apply finish. Now the way this works is step one, I'm going to get a paper towel on the bed of the lathe so that neither linseed oil nor glue can spill onto the machine. Then I've got an applicator which is just a strip of paper towel that's folded up. Sequence of events, first thing I'll do is wet this with linseed oil and apply that to the turning. Then I'll wet this with the CA glue and apply that while everything is still damp. The CA glue I'm going to use is one that's a thin viscosity. That's what we want so that it has the opportunity to spread and level and not just start to stick to the paper towel before we're ready for it to dry. So step one is linseed oil on my paper towel pad and get that applied to the turning. Running at about 1,000 RPM. Now the linseed oil already looks pretty good on there, but it wouldn't have a lot of durability. It wouldn't stay shiny. That's where the glue comes in. So next step, with the thin glue, thin viscosity glue, get a couple drops right here, same spot where that linseed oil is. And I'm going to run that over the turning. And what I'm doing as I move back and forth is making sure that I level everything out so that I don't leave any lines in the finish. That looks great. Really shiny, looks wonderful. I'm going to let this dry. We'll come back, very lightly sand this, get another coat on it. With the first coat dry, I'm just going to repeat the process, really light sanding. We don't want to sand through the finish. Because this has got glue on it now, see how stiff and rigid that is? So we don't want to use that to put new finish on because it's going to leave lines in there. So pony up, use a fresh piece of paper towel, and just repeat the process. We'll give this the opportunity to dry, take it off the mandrel, and see what it looks like on the bottle stopper. Well, there's our completed wine bottle stopper, and this is a really good approach. I want you to try this on these small turnings. Again, CA glue, boil linseed oil, make sure that the project itself is sanded nice and fine before you start the finishing process, and you'll have a finish on these pieces that's going to look great and hold up really great, too.